Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Hope you guys are having a great day wherever you are. On this video, we are going to be spending an entire day here in the city of Matsue, the capital city of Shimane Prefecture. Of course, we'll be eating a lot of delicious food as we'll be visiting some places that are popular with the locals. We're going to show you why Matsue should be on your must-visit places on your next visit to Japan. Big thanks to Boksu for sponsoring today's video. More on them later. Alright guys, so just a few minutes walk down from the station, we arrive at this river. Matsue is known as the city of water as it sits on the Sea of Japan on one side, there's two lakes, rivers, and canals. This is where a boat comes to take visitors to Shinji Lake. That's where you can see a beautiful sunset Hopefully, we can catch a sunset today. I love sunset. Okay, we're gonna be crossing over this bridge over to the commercial area. And after that, we're gonna be going to castle. Yes! First place is a coffee shop called Imagine. Uh, this place is located very near the train station and the coffee smells so yes. good. Yes. They have five types of coffee beans. Mm. Mine is Gatemara. Mm. Yes, it smells amazing. Mm. Yeah, amazing. Right. I need good coffee every morning. <laughs> and I got decaf. I love the ceramic that they use, made here in this town. Mm. This place was opened 10 years ago. It was located in a place where most of the shops are closed. This is a very old part of town. Young people start opening up new shops and trying to revitalize this place. So I really like supporting businesses like this. So city center of Matsue is walkable. There is a bus which goes to many, many tourist spots, but the walking is very fun. So this time we are walking to the castle now. So we walked over to Matsue Castle. It's located in the city center, so super convenient, easy to get to. It's one of the most beautiful castles in Japan. Matsue is also a true castle town, meaning that it boasts one of the 12 remaining original castles in Japan. This castle is built in 1611, so more than 400 years. Many castles in Japan, Kara is white, but this one is black and the moat around the castle is also well preserved. The whole area around the castle, it's been preserved so that you really feel like you've stepped back in time to the days of the samurai. From the top of this tower, you can see a beautiful lake, Shinji Lake, and this beautiful Matsue town. There's an admission fee that you pay to go in, but it's totally worth it. Just remember that the stairs are kind of steep. There are like five or six set of stairs, pretty narrow and also steep. So I had to take my socks off actually. <laughs> I was afraid I was going to slip. But the view from up there is fantastic. Fantastic. And this castle tower is original castle tower. So you can see a very old structures inside. Yes, like, like places where you can see where they um, shot their pistols, mm -hmm. their arrows, mm -hmm. uh, the, the windows to look for intruders, I guess. Oh, the other thing we saw was a well. Yes. An old preserved well. Very, very interesting. And like I said, the view from up there, if you're okay with climbing stairs, the view is really beautiful. Hey Satoshi, it's lunchtime. I'm getting yes. a little hungry. Mm -hmm. We are walking a shopping street named Chamachi. Tea Town. Tea Town. Tea Town. Alright, so we're gonna look for some place to eat here. There's a shop right here. What about okay. this one? Yes, I love the architecture. That's right. Oh, and they have cuts rice here. Mm, okay, so we're gonna go here? Okay. Yeah, price is reasonable and yeah. Ever since we arrived, this is something I really wanted to try. It's called katsu raisu. This is what it looks like. It's a bowl of rice with a, a piece of tonkatsu, which is deep fried pork cutlet. And this is not curry. This is demi glace sauce. And it comes with a little bit of a carrot salad and it came with a little salad on the side. I ordered a set with the drink. I got iced tea. Cheers everybody, itadakimasu. Refreshing. Here we go. I'm so excited. Okay. First thing I want to do is I want to try the sauce on its own. Oh, it has a really good balance of 
beefy flavor with tanginess, richness, depth. Let's try the piece of pork right here. I'll take this piece right here. Oh, look at that. Mm, looks like a lean piece of meat. I also see some pepper. Gonna eat it with a little bit of the sauce. Here we go. Oh, oiso. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, that's good. Mm, that's so good. I like that they sprinkled some pepper on the pork. And that gives you a little bit of kick and spice. Goes so well with the sauce. The pork is tender, but the outside is crispy. Get some of the uh, demigod sauce with the rice. Mmm. Mmm. I think we chose the right shop. Oh, this is so good. We had a hard time choosing a shop because there are so many shops that offer this dish. We chose right. This is really good. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Mmm. The katsu, but it's very tender. And outside, sakuto, sakusakuto, and very good with this demigrass sauce. This demigrass sauce has a little bit of tartness. So, it matches with this pork. Mmm. Mmm. My goodness, my goodness, my goodness. I really, really enjoyed that. You know, I wanted to scream inside the restaurant, but it was very quiet. <laughs> We're the only two customers, so I couldn't. I, I, I wish I could express how much I love that katsu rice that we had here. It was so good. Spot on. <laughs> spot on times 10. I'm sure all the different restaurants have their own version and they taste different so I'm kind of interested in comparing by going to other restaurants serving katsuraisu but I for one am glad that we tried this one first because it was like perfect for me you know I, I like a little tang in my food it you know balance of tangy but it was beefy the the, the pork cutlet was Everything, everything was so good. The owner is a nice couple. Kind of reminded me of Totorate. You that's know, the right, couple at Totorate. Right. Mm -hmm, yeah, mm -hmm. so I, you know, we love shops like this one. So this was a good choice. Hope you guys are enjoying the video so far. Before we continue, I'd like to tell you a little bit about our friends at Boksu. You guys already know how excited I get when we get this orange box in the mail. I always look forward to trying out their snacks. I also know that many of you guys are already enjoying the snacks, but for those of you that don't know, Boksu is a subscription service that delivers premium Japanese snacks and tea pairings straight from Japan to your doorstep. Let me tell you, the majority of the snacks are rare and many of them exclusive to Boksu. So many snacks we discover through the Boksu, even if we live here in Japan. Every month they have a theme. This this month, the theme is Autumn Koyo. Koyo means changing colors of the leaves, which is perfect because right now that's actually happening in Tokyo. You always have a culture guide like this. This tells you everything you need to know, like where your snacks come from, what they are. If you guys are interested in seeing a full complete review of this month's box, check out our video on our food reviews channel. The link is in the description below this one. This month I had a really hard time choosing my favorites because they were all so good. But my favorites were the Chirancha Green Tea Chocolate Crunch. That was incredible. The Mika Mochi Fabulous, also exclusive. And the Salted Azuki Mochi Gummy. That was unique and tasty. You know, of course I had some on the review, but I actually ended up eating the whole bag. If you enjoy Japanese snacks and you're looking for some unique ones as well as rare ones, you really have to try out Boksu. Give them a try. Just click on the link in the description below this video. Make sure to use the code to get $15 off your first purchase of Boksu. Trust me, you will love it. Now let's go back to the video. This castle has a very beautiful moat, really well preserved, surrounded by green and stone walls. And there's a boat. You can go around this castle riding the boat. Behind the castle, the northern part of the castle, there's old houses called Bukeyashiki. And this one is Memorial House of Lafkadio Han, Koizumi Yakumo. He's a British person. He introduced Japanese culture to worldwide and later he became a Japanese. 
he get the Japanese nationality. He wrote Spooky Tales of Japan. That book was really scary for me. I read when I was a child. It's really scary. Oh, this is his home. Ah, oh, his home. Can I go enter? No? Yes, it's uh, 310 yen. Yeah. 310 yen. 310 yen, mm. mission fee. It's a small house, but very cozy and beautiful garden. And also inside, what should I say, the room atmosphere is so like Zen, so very clean. This is a former samurai residence. You can enter this house and you can see how samurai used to live. Oh, what did you get? Barapan. What? Barapan. 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 Oh. Barapan. Thank you. If I can translate it, mm -hmm. it's rose bread. Rose bread. The shape is like rose. Yeah, this is uh, specific to this area. Mm -hmm. I hear um, this is like one of their soul food or soul bread. It's pretty interesting. It is. So we can we can try this uh, barapan at the lake. Okay, let's go to Shinjiko Lake. Let's go. So before dinner, we walked over to Lake Shinji. This is the seventh largest lake in Japan. It's a really beautiful lake, I have to say. Yes, it's really beautiful. Yeah, the water is very clear and calm. And I think we can see the sunset today. I hope, ne. I hope. Ne. The day started out cloudy mm -hmm. and you weren't sure if we could see the sunset. Mm -hmm. I love sunset. <laughs> <laughs> so this is a very popular place to see sunset. For now, we're going to be eating barapan. Yay! I can't <laughs> wait to try it out. I've always wanted to try it. The amazing thing is look down at the ground. Look. Oh, yeah, this is the, the baby clams. All the shiji. There's so much. Wow. Whoa, it's incredible. Sugoi, sugoi, sugoi. This one? Yeah, this is all shijimi. So while we wait for the sunset, Barapan time. Barapan time. This yes. is Barapan. Yeah, so this is a snack bread that's eaten here in this part of Japan. It's called Barapan. Bara means rose. It looks like a rose, doesn't it? Looks it? like rose. Yeah. And I believe this is buttercream. I think oh, it's buttercream. Really? Yeah. Not like pretty. Yeah, I, I read about it. And oh. I wonder, I wonder if there's... Oh yeah, there, there's buttercream ah. all throughout. Ah, I see, I see, I see, I see, I see. I was thinking it's just rolled, rolled bread. I, I think <laughs> like it's just rolled. the buttercream in the middle, yeah. I thought. <laughs> okay, I want to try just the bread first. You know what? This is like old-fashioned sandwich bread. I don't know why. It, it's giving me very nostalgic vibes. It really is. Okay, so let's eat it with um, the buttercream. I wonder how you actually eat it. <laughs> I wonder if you just eat it in layers like I'm doing right now. Mmm! That is buttercream. Mm. It, the buttercream reminds me of the like the old-fashioned cakes that were frosted with buttercream. Surprisingly, it's not as sweet as I thought it was gonna be. It's very subtly sweet. No, there's no vanilla flavor. I'm trying to figure out what flavor this is. It's like eating bread, soft fluffy bread with whipped butter. That's what it tastes like. Slightly sweetened whipped butter. When I hold this bread at a supermarket, I thought it's very light bread. <laughs> very light. Mm -hmm. And now I can see the inside. Layers, layers. It's like a cinnamon roll, but there is a cream. Yes. Fortunately, no cinnamon. No cinnamon. Yay! Okay. Itadakimasu. Mm. Mm. Very fluffy bread. It's much fluffier than regular shok pan. Mm -hmm. It looks like regular shok pan, but it's much fluffier. Doesn't it remind you of childhood? Yes. And this buttercream mm -hmm. inside, there is a texture of sugar. Yes. Shari, that's, shari, yeah, shari, yeah, yeah, shari. That's, true, that's true. Yeah, that is true. Slight sweetness. Not overly sweet, not too sweet. Yeah, it's like there's like, like bits of granulated mm. sugar, like yes. sand. Mm. 
You also got like a local drink. Yes, here. yes. This one. local drink. What is this? Fruit drink. Fruits. It's like, is this uh, it's like milk? a dairy? New, milk? Yeah, dairy, dairy fruits milk. Okay. Like a fruits juice, I think. We always love going to supermarkets when we go to a new city. Yeah, even within Japan, they always have local things. It's so interesting. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Milk with apple, orange, pineapple, and tangerine orange. Wow, <laughs> wow. It's like a fruit salad. Mm. It's light and sweetness. So mm, it's sweeter than this bread. I like it. <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately, today uh, we cannot see the sunset. Through the camera lens, this looks like sunset, but it's not. <laughs> Just the west side, a little bit brighter. But it's okay, I am happy. So shall we go dinner? Yes, yes, I am hungry now. I can't believe I'm hungry again. <laughs> Alright guys, we are back at Kyomise Shotengai, the shopping street that we were walking on earlier today. And we are back here for dinner at Wise Kitchen. We are ready to eat. I'm also excited because we get to meet the chef again. All right, let's go. Because we tasted his food before in Dyson, we really wanted to come to his restaurant where everything is made, you know, right here in the kitchen, in his own kitchen. When you come to his restaurant, you get to taste his take on French cuisine using local ingredients. So it's a little bit different from eating French food in France, for example. Cheers. Cheers. So this is a sparkling sake uh, called Gassan. It's a local sparkling sake that's made by Yoshida Brewery. And I'm really excited because the only sparkling sake I had is from another company. So cheers. Wow, that's really good. That's super easy to drink. It's very smooth. It's sparkling, so it's fizzy. It's bubbly as well. Kind of, kind of like drinking champagne. So we ordered a course, one of the complete courses. So the first dish is already here. This is the amuse bouche, and this is uh, made with egg and some other things. I think that's a Brussels sprouts. All right, let's dig in. Here we go. Wow, so pretty. That's um, squid, I'm pretty sure. Thank you, Hans. Mmm, there's no seafoody, fishy flavor whatsoever. Eggplant, very smoky flavor, very refreshing. There's a little bit of acidity in it as well. I already know I'm gonna be enjoying this meal. Odo. <laughs> Four types of dishes. I like the local local ingredients food. The first one is sazai, turban shell. It is ahijo, ahijo style turban shell. It has a little bit of slight bitterness. It's for me, it's adult taste. Mmm, mmm, right here. Mm. Very nice garlic. <laughs> mm. For me, this one is better than usual way. Usually, uh, we eat soy sauce grilled with soy sauce this garlic way is better for me aji is a type of macro i believe okay mm, mm. that was so fresh the dressing is a little bit tangy and a little bit sweet it really really goes well with the fish this pate is made with uh, pork and chicken and I believe he made it a little bit some um, Japanese. That's a really light pate, but of course full of flavor with a hint of yuzu. This turban shell, I usually don't like it, but one, one good thing about this, first of all, is that it's already cut into pieces. Mmm. Okay, oh, well, that's good. <laughs> I can definitely eat it like this. I do prefer it cooked this way, prepared this way. It reminds me a little bit of escargot. All right, this is an onion soup covered with a puff pastry. It's baked in the oven and it smells amazing. All right, let's dig into it, guys. Whoa. 
Oh my gosh, I'm so looking forward to this. I love, I love onion soup of any kind. Oh, look at that. Wow, the onion, the sweetness from the onion is so intense. It's like really, really sweet. It reminds me of um, a really good intense French onion soup without the cheese. Now, that's what it tastes like to me. I just had to say, the onion soup pairs like perfectly with the sparkling sake, like it's so good. So the next dish is really interesting. This is a seafood dish, and he smoked it with his uh, homemade uh, sakura tree, hinoki tree combo. And as soon as it opened it, you, you can smell it. You can smell that aroma of the, the, the tree. It smells really aromatic. Okay, that's a sea bream with some of the ratatouille. Mmm. Mmm. It's so surprising. I made that reaction because the first thing you get is the combination of the sea bream, the fish, with the ratatouille. Really fresh tasting ratatouille. Then suddenly, the smoked flavor just hit me. Open this lid. Voila. Ah. I like this aroma. Yeah, it smells like in the forest. Yes. Very aromatic. I love that aroma. Okay, and Shinichi ate the sea bream, so I will eat giant clam, mirugai. He lightly boiled, but not only that, marinate a little bit with oil. Mmm. Mmm. I can enjoy them. Very nice the smoke aroma, cedar, hinoki, and cherry blossom tree combined really nicely. It's very present. Combined with ratatouille flavor, it's the other accent. The so next one is seafood dish cooked in parchment paper. Ah, nice. So this one is a combination of clam, baby clam, yellowtail, and shrimp. Shijimi is a specialty of Shimane Prefecture. First, I want to see this soup. Mmm. Dashi from this brown is really good. And of course, the clam and the baby, baby clam has a really good flavor. First, I want to eat this baby uh, clam. Mmm. 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 tomato y flavor added. Mm. And shijimi. Shijimi is a very tiny, so you don't have to eat this fresh, but I want to eat. Mm, mm, it's sweet. Shimane shijimi really good. If you come to Shimane Bewege Jam, definitely you have to try. Soup is really good. Mm. I'm gonna try this fish, the local fish, yellow tail. Make sure I get some of that broth. Mmm, that fish is so delicious. Cooked perfectly, not overly cooked. It's flaky, has lots of flavor. You know, this reminds me of a um, choppino that I had in San Francisco. Kind of reminds me of that. Mm. So two stores down from here, there's a bakery called San Cornelio. And on my other channel, Shinichi's World, I actually was talking about trying out their cream bread because it looked really, really good. But it just so happened that this restaurant uses their bread. Yeah. So this is the bread from San Cornelio, this bakery in the neighborhood. Mmm. You know, it has this really interesting aroma. Mmm. I'm not sure what it is. But I know that that bakery, they have a, a they use very special ingredients. They're really famous for their cream bread. Yeah, they're closed on Mondays and Tuesdays, FYI. Next is the meat course, check it out. So we have three types of meat. This is chicken from Yamaguchi. Uh, it's uh, simmered in a demi-glace sauce. This is ribs from the Iwami region. And this is beef from Shimane Prefecture with this special sauce. All right, I'm gonna go start with the chicken right here. I love demi-glace sauce, guys. The chicken is super tender. It's kind of like falls apart in your mouth. It's that tender. And it's so good in the demigla sauce. This demigla sauce 
is sweeter than the one we had at lunch, but in a good way. Lots of depth, lots of richness. All right, let's try the pork rib and orange sauce. Look how tender that is. Just kind of like fell apart again. A little bit of the orange sauce, orange glaze. That's good. That's really, really good. I've never had ribs or orange sauce before. I usually have ribs, you know, like the um, American style, you know, with that barbecue sauce. That's delicious. And once again, fall off the bone tender. Shimane beef is also a brand beef. It must be really tasty. Mm. 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 This sweet soy sauce based sauce enhanced the beef flavor really nicely. Originally, Shimane beef has a really good flavor, beef flavor. It's lean part, but it contains so much umami. And it's combined with this sauce, it's become two times much better. So this are time. We have two types of pizza. First one, this one is grape shine muscat from Shimane Prefecture. And this one is using 20th century pear, Japanese pear, caramelized with cream. Like shine muscat. Shine muscat has a very distinctive, unique aroma and flavor. And everybody loves this shine muscat. Shine muscat has a very refreshing sweet uh, flavor and aroma. It's so nice, it's so refreshing. This one is the local pear, which are in season right now. Oh, look at that. The top is totally caramelized. Kind of reminds me of like creme brulee. Mmm, I love that sugary crust on the top. It's crunchy, very thin, but it also tastes something cheesy. I believe there's some cheese in here. Delicious. You know, pears and cheese go really well together. But oh my gosh, made into this dessert. That is so good. Oishikata desu. Thank you so much. See you again. Thank you. Sayonara. That was a great meal, Satoshi. Yes, I really, really enjoyed it. So delicious. <laughs> Mm -hmm. It really, really was perfect evening, perfect cap to the perfect day. We had such a great day today from morning coffee to lunch to, of course, all the sites that we went to today. Really long day, but very, very satisfying. Mm -hmm. But not enough. I have to come back again. To we Matsu. have to come back. We have to come back we again. We have to come back. If you guys are planning a trip to Japan, really try to make it to this part of Japan. This is definitely a hidden treasure. So really hope you guys enjoyed this video. We certainly enjoyed making this one for you. As always, smash the like button, subscribe if you haven't already done so, and see you guys on our next adventure. Bye guys. Bye bye.